So let's say you made some changes to your square. This was a two millimeter by two millimeter square right here, just consisting of four vertices and four edges. And I did some beveling, but if I wanna undo the beveling and I can't just use control Z, uh, you did see one way to do it that was kind of tricky. What I'm gonna do is show you another way. You can highlight, again, I'm in edit mode and I'm selected vertices. Uh, if you hit the delete, we're not gonna actually delete, we're gonna dissolve. Now, if you go dissolve vertices, notice I have them all selected except for one of them here. Well, all around one curve. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Dissolve vertices, here we go. It will dissolve the ones you have highlighted, basically remove them, and then the connection that was here, uh, is still made, it just goes, all the orange ones will disappear, and the fact that these two were connected, they'll still be connected just with a straight line. So again, I go delete, dissolve uh, vertices. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I can dissolve just this one. Delete, dissolve vertices. We're back to four points, but how do we get this point exactly up to here? That's a little bit tricky. You can use G to grab. Uh, you can press X and that lets me just slide it along X. You can do a pretty good job here, but I don't want pretty good, I want exact. So how do we do that? You can try typing a number in, but it's relative, I just typed a one in, but it's relative to where the point started and it didn't start perfectly, so it's not gonna end perfectly. This move, you think you could type in the exact coordinates here, but it's all. this is an offset from the original coordinate. So if I just put one, oh, why is not the one I want? Uh-oh, better undo. All right, so all these won't really work. There's a few ways to get this actually in the old position. So I'm gonna use snapping, and we're gonna use a snap I don't think you've seen before. You could definitely go to uh, vertex snapping and snap with closest. You do need to make sure you turn snapping on, not just alter the settings. So when I go G for grab, oops, that's not what I want. I'm gonna move it, there we go. Uh, you could just normal move it like this. Uh, my snapping is not working. I'm worried we have too many vertices. We do, we have five vertices instead of four. I just highlighted them all. So I'll just go delete, uh, dissolve vertices. Still have five, all right. Well, let's at least make this snapping work. I'm gonna go to increment. Um, absolute grid snap is on and we're gonna go to increments, which is gonna snap to the grid that's here. And if you see, this point, I have another issue uh, that I'll deal with. Let me just drop it right there for now. And I can delete this one. Now this, I just want to delete. And so I hit the delete key and I'm gonna go to vertices. It also deletes the uh, any attached edges or faces. There was one edge attached. All right, now I could finally move it to where I want. I still have that grid snapping on and now I can actually move it to the original position. And same settings, I can move this one over exactly where I want it to be. And now I'm back to my original square without using some of the uh, methods described in the video. And you can use this grid snapping whenever you need to. Now you would have a problem if, turn it off, if you weren't exactly snapped into uh, coordinates, you would have a problem. Uh, but there's still another way to fix that. So let me go ahead, put that one back. You could take any of these and snap them to the origin. Oops, I turned snapping off. So I could snap any of these to the origin. So I'm gonna move. Now there's actually two vertices on top of each other here, and that's fine. Just keep that in mind. 